Hi, this is Adam Haining here from Floor Supplies and Floor Masters and um, just been playing around with some grinders today and I uh, wanted to do a quick video because I've had some people ask about the difference between the old 550 and the new 550, the HTG 550 uh, from High Tech Grinding um, and the Zingy. So I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you the machines. Not that one, that's my 800 I've been playing with today and I just polished this up to 400 grit here. But these are the two machines that we're talking about. This is the older 550. That's uh, the Generation 4 XY 550 from Zingy. As you can see, Zingy machine. Um, so this one here um, has the rubber skirt that just goes around. It's got some Velcro on it. Uh, this is a removable weight that you can lift off. Uh, I think it's about 20 kg, might be 30 kg. Uh, it's got a water tank. Uh, it's got a couple of poles here. If you take the weight off, there's a socket in there. And you can put those poles in. They stick out the front and someone can lift up the front uh, while someone holds onto the handle and uh, carry it into places. But she's a pretty heavy beast. She's about 165 kgs. Uh, plus you've got the weight. Um, so obviously that's removable. Um, and this has just got display here. It's got RPM, amps, volts. Uh, they're a little bit out um, just in the way they work. So uh, that's not the greatest thing. Uh, you've just got a directional button, an on off power switch. So the, the kill switch here um, acts as a, um, as your on off button. Uh, uh, you can plug a light in. And it comes with a light, an LED, uh, that you've just got a magnet and you can put that wherever you want. Um, and there's a USB port in here. So you can charge your phone, run a GoPro, any of those sort of things that you want to do. Um, it's got a little arm here that you can adjust up and uh, run your cables out to hold them up. And the dust port is down under the back there. So you've got to run down through. Uh, it's got an adjuster here for your water. And that's how that works. Uh, this is the new model. Oh, that one's also got smaller wheels. If you compare the wheels, they're sitting at the same place. Um, this one's actually got some bag wheels. So this one here, basically, um, I had to adjust it to show the current speed well the seat it's speed it's set for uh, this is your motor speed adjuster here and unfortunately that's phasing with my camera um, this will do up to 1500 rpm and down to 400 or 405 it says on here uh, we've got a little drink holder a camera holder this one here, I ordered it and I asked for the bail handle because I've had that on my 680, which is sitting over there, and found it awesome for running the vacuum hose through um, and also the power lead so it keeps it away from the wheels and you're not getting bound up on that. Um, so both of these, got a lever on the side that you can disengage the handle and put that at different heights. Uh, so it's the same on both of them. The old one um, basically just had a set of handlebars on it, which you can also just uh, run your uh, hose and stuff through over that. Um, this one also has some other features that um, I was involved a bit with uh, some ideas for it. We wanted it to be able to be pulled apart. Um, so this one's got swing weights that you can only in two positions, whereas the Bigger HCGs have heavier weights and they can be in three positions, like fully back, uh, in a neutral position and forward. Um, but these work quite well. Uh, they've got a pin here, so you can actually take those off um, when you need to move it around, um, like if you need to carry the machine. Um, so the other thing we've done with this is the old ones were bolted. It goes straight through. No, I can't see it because of the weight. Um, this one here, we've got a pin with an R-clip on it, so you can pull those out, uh, disconnect the plug, and 
um, take the frame off the motor and gearbox and then we've got four handles one two three and the one down there four and so you can carry the motor if you need to take it upstairs or carry it into a site that's not easy to go as you can see these run WEG motors uh, which I think are one of the most uh, used motors in the world um, not always the best known um, they're one of the biggest manufacturers in the world uh, there's a tap for adjusting your water so this is a water tank and you fill it up through here so it's all stainless steel um, and the inverters in the back part of that um, so this is a great machine um, come back in a moment and I'll tilt the machines up and you can see some other differences with them right so I tilted the machines back um, and we'll have a look underneath uh, they've got different diamonds on them so this is the rubber shroud uh, so it's just got a velcro part here that you can put it around do it fairly tight stays on there does a great job um, and you can push it back down onto the floor so it'll follow the floor pretty well um, if you go over quite an undulating floor it will um, uh, ride up a little bit and can stay up but generally not too much of an issue um, on the new model they wanted to do the same thing and I requested that for my one that they do this floating shroud uh, like we've got on the 680 um, and then they've upgraded to, to a plastic one that uh, sits even a bit higher on the, uh, the new 800. So um, on the 680 that's always been great. Um, these shrouds really do follow the floor. Um, they'll float up and down and, um, and do a great job. One of the differences with these is that the new generation, the, the HDG 550, is actually only 490 millimetres in diameter. And the, and the old 550 is 550. Now, one of the reasons for that um, is the old 550, in some situations, because of the diameter um, and running a four kilowatt motor, it can load it up and pop a 10 amp circuit. Uh, most of the time you're okay, um, but if you find something pretty heavy and um, that wants to bind it up, uh, just that extra diameter um, puts more resistance on and you're more likely to pop uh, so these are a bit smaller uh, in, the, in the head and um, that will also use same same motor um, and the gearbox has changed so I'll just come back in a sec and show you the rotation speed differences <coughs> right so here we are um, both of these are running on their on their slowest speed so this one here the head will do three rotations for each time the gearbox does one full rotation. So you'll see that's quite slow. Uh, this one will do nine rotations of the head to each rotation of the gearbox. So each head spinning more in the one place or more times before it goes around. The advantage of that is it cuts better and you're getting less resistance um, because you're not pulling the diamond sideways so much. Um, I did try and run some bush hammers on this machine and because the heads weren't spinning fast enough the bush hammers on their uh, ready lock mounts wanted to basically pull themselves out of the sockets and um, it's, it's basically spat them out. So I haven't tried it yet on this, um, I've only had this uh, about a week now and I haven't really had too much of a chance to do too much with it. Um, but I'm pretty sure the bush hammers and they've told me that the bush hammers will work fine on that. So um, yeah, so that's that's a difference in the speed. Hang on, I'll back up a little bit. So all around, I think the uh, the new model um, has a lot of advantages: the swing weights, the being able to be dismantled. Um, you can see the difference in the size of the wheels there. Um, so it's going to be easier to pull over rougher terrain. Um, yeah. Also, the new one's 260 kgs, um, so that makes a bit more difference to the grinding pressure. Um, but it's uh, sort of reduced a little bit by the size of it, so there's not so much strain on the motor in that sense. So, um, yeah, both models are still available. Uh, if you need one, give me a call. Um, private message me or if you need to get in contact. 
and uh, let me know what you want. These are great single phase machines. Um, anything smaller you're not going to really be able to polish with. So, um, yeah, good options. Thanks for watching. Bye.